But please, please, like this is one of the top tips to be completely honest because it really, really can get you to a job when men, even you may not have been looking for one. Hello, everybody. My name is Naya and I'm the Black Female Engineer. I provide content for new and aspiring software engineers. And today we're talking about how to get a new developer job without having any past experience. So let's get to it. Number one, if you don't have any previous experience in you know tech or development it's okay to now lean into your projects lean into your projects and let those projects actually take up the space of where the previous experience would on your resume this is what i did because i did not have any previous tech experience and so i really leaned in on the full stack web applications i had built these could be projects from your boot camp if you go to a boot camp odds are you will be building and developing projects it can be projects from there it could be projects from out of boot camp or some other program or no program at all it really doesn't matter where it's from it matters what it is what matters is the quality of it so don't get so wrapped up in oh well this is from x and x program or x and x or whatever more focus on is this something i would be proud to show to an employer now if you're wondering which type of projects you should be adding to your portfolio or to your just list of projects that you've built i'll add a link below and above to the video i made about which projects you should have in your portfolio so i'll add those so don't worry but yes worry about quality and i'd say having four to five projects is really where you want to lean into especially because you can add different projects to your resume to better suit your resume to the type of employer you're applying for so if you let's say have built some type of financial app that can be something you add to your resume to tailor to a bank of america application and so it just provides some more leeway and also provides some more leeway in terms of what you speak about in your interviews now number two Okay, you don't have any previous relevant experience, but if you do have previous job experience, be okay to put that in if you believe you accomplished something that is relevant to the new job you're looking to have now. And so for me, I have a background in finance, and so I had worked at Bank of America the previous year before I started applying to jobs as a developer. And so I included that job, but in the blurbs of descriptions and the bullet points that I added, you know, my day to days and accomplishments and all of that, one of the things I added was that one day I automated the journal entry process. And that's something that's relevant to developer roles. And it's something I was very proud of because it also very clearly showed my determination and my work ethic and so if you have something that you believe would provide some better insight into who you are as a worker who you would be as a developer put it on there just put it on the let's say additional work experience part of your resume it's okay to admit that you haven't been a developer for the last 20 years what you should aim for is showing what type of professional you are my third tip is to contribute to open source projects now what's open source open source projects are projects that are available to the public and are able to be modified and enhanced by other developers that's really what it is and by contributing to open source projects you get to practice your coding skill right on real projects and one that's very exciting but it can also be very daunting which is why many people can have a certain type of hesitation towards this but the reason this can really assist in your job hunt is because one you can add it to your resume the type of open source projects you contributed to and what you did and that would count as relevant experience but two you are now working with other community developers you're developing those relationships they are learning about you how you code and if they like you like your personality like you how you work and see that you are a quick learner then that can open the door to future work opportunities if they have a job opening for their company then they can relay that information onto you because they've gotten to work with you they haven't gotten to work with the 30,000 applicants that they are reviewing every single day. They've gone to work with you. And so that gives you such a leg up in the job hunt 
process. Now, contributing to your first open source project can be very daunting and scary. It can be not super easy, but that is the experience for everybody. Please do not let that deter you from this route. And it's also just something good to do in general, helping the community out by, in an essence, donating your time to help with their software, help with their projects, their apps, etc. That can also be a very rewarding experience, job hunt aside. I'll provide some more information below on open source contributions, but please, please, like this is one of the top tips to be completely honest, because it really, really can get you to a job when men, even you may not have been looking for one. And my last tip, this can for some people be seen as kind of bold, for me it would have but it's become so much more common and that is asking for referrals join facebook groups join linkedin groups join communities that are tailored to the dev world and ask for referrals and when i i say that because asking for referrals I don't know how many people know this, but it can be very much mutually beneficial because if you ask somebody to refer you to their company and then weeks or months down the line, that company hires you, that person who referred you often, I actually have never really heard of a situation where this doesn't happen, but they get some type of benefit from the company. I used to work for a company where they would pay out $5,000 every time you sent over a referral to them and they ended up hiring that person. $5,000 yeah so don't think that this is something that someone wouldn't want to do for you or is just benefiting you and you feel a certain way asking no it can be very mutually beneficial and that person referring you may be so glad that you asked because now they have a chance to get five thousand dollars if you're hired typically with referrals that person may need your resume and maybe a cover letter to accompany it and so make sure you have those things set and ready before you ask because it's quite upsetting when someone asks you for something and then they're unprepared so make sure you're not unprepared make sure you have everything set in stone for your resume and kindly and respectfully ask if somebody would be willing to refer you to a company what might even be great is making a list of your top 10 20 30 50 companies and putting that in the developer Facebook group and saying can anybody refer me to all of these companies and if you don't know what I'm talking about when I talk about Facebook groups and everything check out my video how to find a mentor I say mentor but it's really a lot very heavily on groups and Facebook groups and LinkedIn groups so check that out just because I don't like to repeat myself between videos so that the content can stay unique and fresh and all of that for you all so that is that final tip ask for a referral now keep in mind I kept a lot of more general tips out because I do have multiple videos that cover how to get a software developer job especially when it's your first developer job and so I'll link those below again I don't I want to make sure each of my videos are staying unique which is why I didn't go into those but I hope these tips you found something or heard something that you've never heard before because that's always the goal so please let me know what that tip was if that's the case please like and subscribe and I'll see you all later bye